Since the trailer dropped for the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Indigo Disc DLC, I've been thinking non-stop about my final thoughts video. I've been sitting on this video since the trailer dropped and just wanting to think to myself what I can talk about in today's video. I am just so excited to play through this DLC. This update looks absolutely insane. Not only do we get the Blueberry Academy, we get the Terrarium, but we're also going to visit Area Zero and discover a whole new world under Area Zero. We're going to be able to see all our favorite legendary Pokemon return, and we're also going to finally meet Terrapagus. Kieran is going to have an upgrade and be potentially possessed by a legendary Pokemon not yet named. We're going to be able to see all of the starter Pokemon and a heap of returning Pokemon come back to the Terrarium. This update DLC is going to be full of objectives, full of missions, and just full of fun, and I cannot wait to get into it. So the Teal Mask DLC concluded with Kieran's whole story being up in the air. It looks like in the Blueberry Academy, Kieran is going to be completely different. There's a lot of speculation that Kieran is going to be possessed by a legendary Pokemon not yet named or a mythical Pokemon that hasn't yet been seen. It's been kind of leaked here and there. There's been speculation that we've seen it in the Teal Mask DLC in the Kitakami region, but that's not 100% been confirmed. But in the Blueberry Academy, my guess is that Kieran is going to be one of our final battles. He is going to be the rival that we kind of chase throughout this whole mission or through the whole DLC, and he's going to be the one that unveils the secrets to area zero i believe kieran's going to have ties to terapagus or terapagus is going to be the one that tries to stop kieran either way evil kieran is what we all wanted and evil kieran is what we're going to be getting i'm really excited to see the upgrades to his team hopefully he has some really interesting pokemon maybe some cool returning pokemon but i just really hope that kieran has a huge part to play since miss bria obviously is not going to have a massive part but i wouldn't be surprised if they team up at some point Speaking of Area Zero, at the end of the DLC in the Indigo Disc, we're going to be below Area Zero. There's a whole new area that is currently locked that we're going to explore. This is where we're going to find Terrapagus. And my guess is this is where we're also going to find some of the other legendary Pokemon, the new Raikou form and the new Swords of Justice forms, which is going to be really interesting to see. My guess is we could also see a few rarer Pokemon down in this area, maybe Metagross, but we've already seen Metagross around the Terrarium, so maybe we'll see some different forms down in Area Zero. I'm really excited to see how Area Zero, I'm going to say that word so much, how that ties into the story of the Blueberry Academy. I know Miss Briette was fascinated by Area Zero. Maybe her and Kieran unveil something of the Blueberry Academy and get access to Area Zero before we do, even though we already have access, but we don't have access to this new area that we've seen in the trailer so far. But Area Zero, we're going to be returning. We're going to be concluding the game down in this area, the area where it all kind of first started. I'm really excited to jump into Blueberry Academy as well. The Terrarium looks awesome. There's a lot of side missions. There's a lot of mini games you can play. And there's a whole bunch of Pokemon that we're going to be able to catch. We're going to be able to use. We're going to be able to shiny hunt, including legendary Pokemon that are returning to the game. And also starter Pokemon, which is amazing. Some of these legendary Pokemon, we have not been able to get their shiny forms of unless you hack the game. So I'm really excited to see how these look in the game themselves. We already know the level cap for this area is going to be 65 so i wouldn't be surprised if some of the trainers have level 65 pokemon but i have heard from some of the poketubers who actually played through the gameplay or the hour gameplay that they got access to that some of the trainers had level 80s so the battle league or the battle point system whatever you have to collect to go into the battle league and versus the trainers with the double battles. My guess is that these trainers are going to have level 80s. I would love to see some of these trainers in rematches have like level 90s or even level 100s. But these battles are going to be really hard. This has already been confirmed. They're going to have a lot of hazards on field. They're going to think like proper AI trainers. And you're going to have to think of strategies to come up against them. Double battles are also really hard to come by. You can go on Pokemon Showdown and play some practice games. But obviously there's not much double battles in the game. 
Previous games had a lot of double battles, triple battles, and rotation battles, but uh, I haven't seen much of that in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, which is really cool. So they're really using double battles and also hazards and other gameplay mechanics in this DLC, which is really cool to see. My guess is that this is going to be pushing the limits of a Pokemon game to something we haven't seen so far, especially the Terrarium world. I don't think we've seen something like this since uh, maybe a Pokemon Safari but I'm really hoping the DLC just runs really smooth down there and this could potentially tie into the Anova remakes and also Generation 10. Without showing too much, the trailer really did show us enough. I'm really excited for the DLC. I've been excited for quite some time. I've been keeping up with a lot of the leaks, but in the last couple of weeks, I've kind of been shying away from looking too much on Centro's Twitter, and I've been blocking a few keywords just because some of the DLC I want to experience for the first time. I don't want to have the whole thing ruined for me and you know know the whole process of the DLC straight away. I did look at a lot of the PokeTubers footage of when they played through the game for the first time, but I didn't look at any of the battles, any of the events that they did. I do know from the trailer that there are some mini games you can do on Coridon and Maradon, which is really fascinating. And obviously we know some of the main characters from the uh, Teal Mask and also the main storyline of the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet games are going to be returning, which is really cool. So I'm just beyond excited. I just want this game to come out. I know we're under five days away from this game actually dropping, but being able to play this for myself is going to be just amazing. So there are my final thoughts. I don't have too many concerns. I'm just really excited to jump in and play it for myself. I'm hopefully going to be streaming some of this on the weekend. I will let you guys know. I do have a quite a busy schedule coming up. So whenever I get time to play through the DLC, I'm going to be. Uh, I'm not going to jump in until I stream just so everyone can kind of see my first thoughts and we can make a couple of videos. But I'm really going to be winding down for the Christmas period. I've got some family coming over um, in that Christmas period. So I'm really excited to see them. There's still going to be regular videos on Monday, Wednesday and Friday but we might have a couple of weeks where they're just shorts, but I'll keep you guys updated. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support on the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. I really do appreciate it. It's been a long time coming. The DLC is almost here, and then we have to speculate for the next game, which is going to be even more exciting. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will post one more video that's not pre-recorded and not just gaming funny moments before the end of the year. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know down below, what are you most excited about in this DLC? Are you excited to see the starter Pokemon, the legendary Pokemon, or just have the hardened battles come straight at your face and have the challenge amplified? I think I'm just excited for the whole thing. I'm like a kid in a candy store right now. But again, thank you guys for so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice week and I'll see you next time.